Hi, my name is Dex from My Consult, and today we're looking into how we actually can manage customers in AutoCount. So to do this, all we just need to do is come to Adapter Maintenance. We right click here, go into the Adapter List, and all we just need to do is we press New. Right. So let's say we want to create a new customer. The first thing that you need to always take to note is this one, Control Account. So Control Account is what account code you are linking your customer to. So example like this, we can always link to Trade Adapters. Or if you want to split your adapters into different groups, like say example Aeon, then you can actually group it under that. Alright, so for this example, we just put this under trade adapters. Alright, so some customers, they actually want to split by their different adapter type or customer types. So what happens is in AutoCount, you actually have a drop down list, which you can actually manage it inside the system. Alright, to categorize. So most of the time, they use it for things like uh, resellers or VIPs or distributors. So we can use that for the adapter types. Alright. Then okay, what next is you need to key in the company name. So let's say example is XYZ Sindran Bahad. Straight away the system will automatically generate a debtor account number for you. Alright. So in this example, we will just need to key in the billing address, delivery address, all these are your normal company particulars. What happens is if you are looking into sending things like your quotation, your invoice, DOs, all through WhatsApp, then you need to key in the mobile number here. If you are looking to emailing these documents, then you need to make sure that you have key in the email address. So if you have more than one address, you just need to put comma, comma, comma for the next address. Alright. So at the bottom here, there are other things that you can actually manage in the system. Things like who is the agent, who is the salesperson in charge of this customer. What currency they are dealing with. So MYR, Sing dollar, US dollar. What had credit terms that you are giving them. So whether it's a COD customer or 30 days or 45 days, 60 days or 90 days. All right. So these are the few things that actually you can manage your customers inside AutoCount. So this is the end of part one on how we can actually manage customers in AutoCount. Do like and subscribe to be notified when we release our new video. Thanks.